All right, so it's been a little bit since we so I did one of these, but uh, I got all the skin off of this side, pretty much ready to start skinning, and there's my first batch of aluminum. So there's enough here to do uh, across the rear of the bus here, both sides, and to do all of the passenger side. And then I'll make an order to do the, uh, the driver's side. I'll just get another order for a couple weeks to do that. Uh, did a rough calculation and uh, approximately 4,000 rivets. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And about half of them are going to be shave heads. So then I have to go along and, uh, and uh, dress them after they're installed so that'll take a while but anyways I'm gonna get started there's the first piece on just well it's not on it's clamped in place <laughs> so but uh, so I had this material sheared from uh, 4 foot by 12 foot down to uh, 33 and 3 quarters which gets it down to this uh, Right where we want it here, from that mid rail, and then from there up to the top, 43 inches. So I had another four foot by 12 foot piece sheared for that. So three of each will do from from this point here up to the front end. So six sheets per side plus plus this back corner where I have to form it around the back so I got I have uh, just four by ten sheets for that and I'm going to uh, just have to make a template of, for that and cut it and then install it form it around the back um, because I went up to, a, to 12 inches the cap isn't long enough to come down to to this point here that's why I have the around the back up there so the rivets will, or the aluminum will come to here up to the next one and then around the back so um, that's why I couldn't get another one sheared at 33 because it wouldn't, wouldn't fit so I'm gonna have to, uh, to uh, make a template of that form it around the back and that will go up to this point here and it'll actually go under this one and then we'll start riveting it all together. I'm just gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is just click everything onto the, the whole side on. And then uh, come back and uh, and start riveting. So I think what I'm gonna do right at the moment anyways, we'll see how that goes. May modify that plan, but at this point that's what I'm thinking. Anyways, that's as far as I got tonight. Start early tomorrow morning because it's uh, stinking hot around here it for now so here we are in the process of forming this first aluminum sheet around the rear of the bus using uh, some ratchet straps well, it's not right exactly where it needs to be yet we're just uh, kind of wiggling and banging and tightening and whatnot get it uh, into its final position it's pretty close but you know there's a little bit of tension in here and uh, so we're just wiggling around the last little bit um, get her to fit and I'll start uh, putting some glucos in to hold it I want to get it pretty close because once you drill a hole you're screwed so it has to be basically where it needs to be with this uh, you know right into place and then I can start uh, start drilling and and uh, tightening up the last little bit so anyways we'll continue on yeah we're a little bit farther along here now we got some uh, it's out right into where it needs to be and we got uh, 
got some Clecos in it to uh, hold it all in place as we're just working my way around the back here right now. Um, so I got to to that point and then we're just coming around the, you know, drilling and putting Clecos in around the back here. And, uh, boy, I'm going to have to get some better drill bits. <laughs> He's uh, drilling this. Rolling stainless is not uh, not any fun, but it's uh, it's coming. But going through the mild steel, all the aluminum and mild steels, it just go, it cuts into them like butter. But but the uh, stainless is a different story. Well, here's I'm just doing the, lay, the rivet layout here. Every 44 inches needs. Uh, rivet pattern like that and um, this is tool here and I have for laying that out so you just it's expandable you go out to whatever whatever uh, spacing you want and uh, lay out all your rivet holes so basically that's what we did there Got a handy little tool, and um, middle, it goes up, expands up to you can put 20 rivets in uh, 36 inches. So that's the maximum. I think it's two inch spacing. This is at one inch and a half. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what it is. Anyways, so. We'll get this a little bit farther along here and then put the next panel on. I gotta go down and get some more gravel guard. I ran out so I haven't been able to do the next. I'm doing one panel at a time, just kind of gravel guard, you know, putting the, the gravel guard on and then uh, letting it tack up a little bit and then putting the panel on. So, yeah. More later. Now we're just starting to do some riveting here, and I had mentioned in one of my other earlier videos the shave head rivet, so we'll demonstrate the process for that. There's a finished rivet, looks like a buck rivet. That's what it looks like when it's just uh, installed. It breaks off proud, and you have to cut that off with a, with a uh, pair of side cutters. And there's the rivet before it's installed. So Dad's going to go and install it. And then we'll go through the whole shaving process. And I'm going to cut this compressor off. Alright. You can go ahead and there's the cutters there. Let me, let me get around the other side of you. Ah, less sun in the... That might be better. Okay. And there's the shaving tool. It's on the... It's on a 3 h drill. Yeah, oh, 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 don't, don't, what I got. Hold that there, yeah. Keep that, and then don't like start it off the off the mantle. There you go. There you go. That didn't work did it. Now you gotta lock the pressure on this, and but don't you're you're trying to you're trying to drill. So here, oh, well, kill me, you do it. Okay. Yep, I got her. So now with a so-called expert will do it here. <laughs> yeah, I've done three. You just have to start it. Back. Not like that. Come on. Oh, 
right, one, one down, 4,000 to go. There you go, looks right. great. Let's do another one. Almost. We got one more here. Let's yep. Do that one too. That's working better. By the time you get 4,000 down, it won't be too bad. You'll either know what you're doing or you won't. Oops, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, 3,000, 3 down, 4,000 to go. Okay, so we got all the Clecos out of the first two panels. We're just going to uh, put the third panel on here in a few minutes. That's got it all. Next panel, gravel guarded and ready to uh, just gonna let it flash off for a couple minutes and then we'll throw the panel on. I've been putting these panels on while it's still a little bit tacky and then uh, hopefully it, you know it takes a takes a bite to the aluminum as well. So seems to be working. Anyways, Dad's got the. Trimming these uh, shave head rivets down to a science. Huh. Just uh, like anything else, just takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of, uh, you know, you do a few and then you kind of get the feel for it. And, and then uh, where you go. So we got this one, this one here, this row is finished. And, uh, We've just got enough rivets in the rest of it to and have these to kind of hold it in place. Then we'll go back and rivet the whole thing out afterwards. I have to uh, get some seam sealer to put. You know, I'm just going to peel this back, put a bead of seam sealer under there after we drill the holes, and then uh, that'll seal that up as well as along that top edge. We'll just pull it back. Put a bead of seam sealer underneath it, and then um, and then rivet it all down. And then once we got the, we're trying to get the uh, the lower panel here all the way to the front, so onto the uh, front slide out as well tomorrow. And then um, we'll start doing the, we'll come back and start doing the upper. Uh, pop the window out and uh, do that panel, and then put the window back in and move on to the next one. So, I don't know how long that's all going to take, but we'll uh, keep building as we go. Well, here's where we got to end of the day yesterday. Got a third panel up, uh, a few picos in it. We're just going to continue on with that here now. And, uh, and then I'm going to... Start on the door next. Just continue working my way forward. Probably skin the whole door. And that'll be next. And then we'll get on to the, the slide out after that. And so back again. Monday night. And this panel is all drilled out and enough rivets to hold it uh, to hold it in place I'm uh, I get more quarter inch rivets I got all kinds of uh, 3 16 but these are all quarters so I got to order quarter 1500 quarter inch shave head rivets so until I get those I can't uh, finish finish that all off but it's all drilled and Ready to go, and then today I worked on the on the door. There we go. Let me get back here a little bit. So, got this panel on the door. Again, it's all clean. It's ready to to uh, pull all the clicks off, pull it off, <coughs> paint the door frame. 
and then put it back on. I'll probably do that tomorrow night. Got the uh, lock all installed, and all trimmed and everything around the around the door handle, and then from the bottom half here, uh, right down in here, and there down. That's going to be uh, that'll be the stainless, so which I still haven't dealt with. So tomorrow I will probably put the top half of the uh, aluminum on the uh, on the door here. And then, uh, well, then I got more, still have to do the, the angle here, so that's going to be my next, next task, I guess. Been procrastinating with that, and I can't procrastinate any longer, I just got to get her done, so that'll be my next chore. But anyways, it's, uh, we got uh, quite a ways this weekend, I was pretty happy with that. And uh, let's continue on. Oh, by the way, this is uh, 12 gauge, 80 thou thick aluminum, 5052 aluminum sheet. It's uh, a little bit thicker than original. The original is 12 gauge or 14 gauge. This is 12. And uh, my supplier. Had 16 or 12. They didn't have any 14, so I got 12. Or the 16 was just a little too light. So, anyways, that's uh, that's just my story for now. Dad's got these shaving these rivets down to a science. They're coming out really nice. Just takes a little bit of practice and you know like anything else when you first uh, first start doing it you got to try and figure out all the little tricks to it and once you do you got really nice